What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 25th draft tutorial, intermediate draft tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are finally going to be finishing, hopefully, if I don't get uh, up on another topic and run out of time. But my plan for this tutorial is to finally finish up our program of sliding a slider and changing the size of an oval. So in the last tutorial, what we did is we built that little thing called a slider on the screen. So right now, it's just chilling there. We can slide it back and forth. It has ticks marks on it. It looks nice, but it doesn't really have any functionality. So in order to have functionality and actually make it do something useful, we need to add a listener to it. Now what a listener is, is it's a little tiny program that sits on your slider. And I don't mean like sits on it like you can see it but it's built into your slider so when you actually slide it and move it it actually says alright I'm supposed to be doing something in in the case of our program changing the diameter of our circle so in order to do that um, what we need to do is every object has a different type of listener and every object has a different type of, of event that registers this one is state changed so and you know enough of me talking let's just go ahead and start uh, typing in order to add a listener for a slider you put add change listener and this is the type of listener that you use now go ahead and put a colon after that and this argument is going to take a whole bunch of crap in this so go ahead and give yourself some room and that's probably enough right here so inside your argument for your listener go ahead and write new change listener let me make sure I spell that right close enough and now what this is is this a method that's gonna take stuff in here as well so you actually have to type in a bunch of stuff before you even get to the actual coding so inside your change listener this means when something changed what do you want to do well we need one more method in here public void state change and this is a built-in method in Java so if you're saying alright when are we going to be building this we aren't gonna it's already built for us so the parameter is change event and just name it E now what E is is it's an event how can I put this anytime you change your slider and by change I mean move an event occurs and anytime an event occurs a piece of code is going to run and if you're saying alright what piece of code is going to run well whatever we type in here so we already set this program up perfectly to say alright whenever we change our slider we want you to get whatever value that slider is at currently and we want you to pass it in for its new diameter and if this diameter is valid then we want you to change the circle to that size of the diameter so we already set up every method we just have to call them just put my panel dot set D and remember set D let me click let me try to find it what set D does is it's gonna change the diameter and repaint the circle so if we're saying alright so what exactly what value are we gonna pass it in well the value we're gonna pass it in is slider dot get value and what this is going to do is it's going to look on your slider and according to where you slid the little slider what value that it's sitting at currently it's going to pass that value in to set diameter and that is what it's going to paint on your screen so if you're confused then just look at it for like two seconds um, so pretty much we get value from the slider we pass it in to set D and it paints on screen simple enough so now what we need to do is make sure we have our of our brackets and outside of your call to add change listener but inside your constructor once you're done doing everything we now need to add everything to the window so we built a bunch of stuff or programmed it now we actually need to put it on the window just for looks and I'm gonna be putting in in of course in order to do that you just use the add method so just put add and it takes two parameters add slider first and border layout 
south and let me just yeah let me just copy that because I'm lazy and don't want to have to type anything copy paste so we added the slider now we want to add my panel which is pretty much the background in the circle so now with those three things we added everything and we want this to appear in the center so now that we added the slider at the bottom which is south and the panel which consists of the circle in the background and the center we're ready to uh, go to our main window call everything get it set up so just go to your main class and by main class I mean whatever class has your main method and you first need to create a window object so the window I'll name mine W set equal to new the window and remember this didn't take any um, arguments in the constructor so now what we need to do is set now that we have a window object we can take care of some necessary things w dot set default close operation and you definitely need to do this j frame dot exit on close there we go and you need to do this because if you don't have this whenever you try to exit your program and click x it won't exit unless you have this why they set that up this way too i'm not sure talk to someone else not me so now that we have that we can set a size for our window so put w dot set size and this is pretty much all preference completely up to you i'm going to set mine let's see 230 by 280 that should fit nicely i want to make sure it fits in this little tutorial box but if you guys are just building this on your own you might want it bigger might not i don't know and the last thing we need to do is make sure the window is visible so w dot set visible and you pass it in a boolean and we want it true so this pretty much just makes sure the window pops up on your screen if you set visible to false then it would be just be hidden somewhere aka totally worthless so let's go ahead and run this and see if we didn't get any errors which we probably did nope and look at our beautiful program that we just built as you see by default it starts out at 10 and we have tick marks every 10 from 0 to 100 and when we slide it our circle goes from 0 to 200 in diameter and it can't go less than 200 or excuse me can't go more than 200 can't go less than 0 so that is an amazing program look at the beauty of it I think I'm gonna take the source code mail it off to Microsoft and see if they'll accept me as their lead programming manager for building circles um, you guys can do whatever you want but that's what I'm going to do so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and I don't know what I'm going to be teaching next but it's going to be awesome so one last time thank you and I'll see you next time